Okay. Uh, all right. Let's just look at the program. Okay. AutoPad. Who uses CAD tacky plans in Model Maker? Detailed plans. You know, you survey a site and you pla place little patterns everywhere. You draw your lines, the fences, the block boundaries, and all of that. I mean, yeah, most of you are cadastral land surveyors, but sometimes you get this old tacky plan that comes in. Don't chuck it away. Go do it. Just tackies are easy surveys, and you get your money immediately because you can print a PDF, A4, and give it to the customer and say, job's finished. When you pay me, I give you the final plans. And you get your money right there, no waiting for the survey general or anything like that. And this is how easy it is to build a tacky in Model Maker. So uh, a lot of software called this, they've got this name called field to finish and all that descriptions, similar to that, okay? Um, sorry, I just need to grab all of that. I can e even go, sorry, in my blocks, I can go to blocks there and say you can delete any block or you can, let's just move that one block out of the way. And then I can grab it and delete it in one go. So you can just grab all of that and say select all. No worry about all of that. Now my points so are added here still. So I'm just going to go to my ID and do ID. That's just a quick way to do this and say new my points. Okay, so it seems my points aren't added anymore, but here they are. Hmm. So I might have discovered a bug that hasn't been addressed yet. So I'm just going to go shift right click and say adding new. There we go. All right. And then I grab that and say shift ID and or shift right click and delete. All right. So all of that's gone. All right. So I've got this tacky survey. Um, I'm going to go to my layer menu. You can just press L layers you can say purge any unused layers so if, it, if the layer doesn't have any cad on it just by pressing that button it just deletes all of those layers it's empty layers um, you can go in here and go there's a button here that says hide layer anybody know about that so i can say i want to hide that layer i want to hide that layer hide that hide that hide that I that and oh made a mistake so I press the numeric keypad plus and I say oh no 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 I want my urban there and I want my earth numbers there okay or no I don't want that no okay so you can really mess around with that that was numeric keypad plus it's like a little undo for switch hiding CAD layers all right, so I've got this tacky survey here. It's a lot of detail. I want to do something that's been in the software for ages, okay? So there's a button here called GOP, G on your keyboard, or L on your keyboard, but go to plotting there, okay? L for layers, there's layers, there's your strings. Some of you don't even know that those buttons exist. They've just been there forever. And I can say, do not show any spot shot points. Okay. So it not only hides them, it makes them inactive. So I can't accidentally select them either. Okay. So just so you know, this is destructive. If you leave this on and you close Model Maker properly and you open Model Maker again, it's going to remember this. And next time you load spot shot, they will not load. You're going to find me and say, Kone, I'm loading all my points, but I don't see my points. Okay. That's why you pay your maintenance for questions like those. <laughs> okay. So um, I'm hiding them. Or you can say, no, show, show others as points. Okay. So in other words, the description will disappear, but the dot will be there. Okay. So you should still see the dot. I don't know if it's a bit... Not so clear there, but the dots are there. In fact, if you're not happy with the size of your dots, you go here, arrow sizes and DTM symbols. I'm so glad you asked. There's a circle option, and you can maybe make it a 0 0.25 circle. 
now you can see the dots okay we can make them across a little diamond okay just saying okay so we've got this survey and we want to place some patterns on here so there's a cool feature that we beefed up a bit that not many people know about so we're adding patterns okay you all know a pattern is something that we drew a long time ago okay so if we go to CAD and we go to patterns there's a thing called AutoPath. Who uses that? Of course, only one in the room. <laughs> okay, so you can create a file for yourself with a certain description. So you might say, this is my stormwater survey codes, or this is my cadastral codes, or this is whatever codes I, I use. And that specific file, so I can have a F for fence, but I can also have an F for found. You understand? So that's why we'd want to differentiate between the two so that we save a file for the mapping. And the mapping is this. It's basically, when you do a fresh mapping, you would say, um, scan all my codes in the job. And then you would say, you can drag and drop if you like, or you can select and double click here. It puts the code in this field and you can have it whichever way around you want. Okay. And then you marry it with a pattern. Okay. Here we can set the pattern scale. So each code can have, so if your pattern, you know that specific pattern is a bit too big, or maybe it's a bit too small for that code, you can apply a custom scale to each individual pattern. And you can say, yes, use it or not. So you can say toggle, use all of them or not, or whatever. Okay. So um, I'm going to go and say, look for fence. So there's a fence post. So I'm going to drag and drop again. Or I'm going to go for lamp post and double click here. And so on. You get the idea. Um, so my file, I actually... I don't know how it happened, but they came in with a lot of little spaces. So I just need to get rid of, we don't want those, it must be exactly the description used on the actual, don't double click too fast because it grabs stuff. Can't have all those spaces there. Because that's not how the survey point were named. Okay, done that. So if you've matched them now, you've told it to use it. So today I can say, don't use that one. Or yes, did I use that one also? I, for instance, I don't want all the road edges. But let's, maybe we put them in just for fun. Okay. The only requirement is you have two folders. Only two folders. The main folder is here. You can see there, pat data. So most of your patterns would be in there. But if you have an alternative folder, you can assign it and then you can set the current directory as an alternative. So it will actually store that. So it will look in two places for your patterns. Okay, because managing patterns can sometimes become a bit of a nightmare. Okay, um, so we'll just say okay. And what happens is the program, I'm going to switch off all my lines and text and whatever else circles and just have hatching off let's say hatching off okay so all that's left are these little patterns that sit everywhere okay so my yield sign is my yield sign and my lamppost is my lamppost and whatever else okay and it won't miss one so no more manual oh this is that and none of that autopad that's the way to go.